French cutlets are one of my favourite cuts of meat. Absolutely delicious, on the bone, juicy. What you mean is it's nice and clean and trimmed. Gotcha. Correct, you've got a beautiful little handle. They're very lean cuts, so I love these. We're going to make these today with a chimichurri sauce. So I have got nice. there some parsley, vinegar, chilli, dried oregano and garlic. You're going to process that up for me, please, with for some you. salt, pepper and olive oil. In it goes. This is one of my favourite sauces, marinades. I use it all the time. I grow the parsley and it's really versatile, so you can put it on scallops or prawns, whatever you like. Parsley is great to grow in a garden because once you get it started, if you let it go to seed, you have it everywhere. It just goes nuts. This is interesting you say this. Mine is currently gone to seed and okay. some people look at me like I'm weird and then I sprinkle all the bits everywhere. Okay. Yeah, because I love it everywhere. As long as it doesn't get into the lawn because we like a nice clean lawn and everything trimmed up nicely. But you don't let the parsley grow in there, do you? I do have oh. a little bit of lettuce growing in my lawn at the moment. Interesting. It's like you've got... That camera that you've got in my home is extremely effective. You can't do that. Now, I've got the parsley, the garlic in here. Anything else you want in Olive here? Olive oil, please. Olive oil. Salt gotcha. and pepper. Gotcha. Whilst you're doing that, I'm actually whipping up a really beautiful dressing for our salad. So I've got some capers, some mustard, garlic... Anchovies and vinegar. Gotcha. I'm going to put some olive oil, so a really simple dressing that I'm going to pop together. Lots of fresh flavours here, and I can tell a lot of uh, stuff from your garden as Correct. well, which, is, which yes. is very important to you. It is. Makes me happy when I go out in the garden and I'm cooking with the stuff I've grown. Priya Pri is always showing me pictures of her garden, her lettuce growing, the, the cucumber growing, everything growing in the garden. You're an amazing gardener. Oh. Yep. Oh my gosh, a compliment, finally, a compliment from Richo. So you whip that together for me, please, and then we're going to start marinating up these beautiful French cutlets. Must be a very good day if I'm giving compliments here. I know. I know. Fantastic, that's done. So if you can pop that marinade now onto the lamb chops. I can do that for you. Could you just reserve a little bit, because I like to dollop it on at the end once the lamb is cooked. Reserve a little bit. So yes, please, save, chef. Save some for later. Is that what Correct, you're to say? that's what okay. I'm trying to say to all you, right, yes. Gotcha. Don't get excited and use it all together. So you, this marinade here, straight no, up, no, 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 that's for the Oh, you dressing. mean the chimichurri. Yes. Oh, okay. he's trying to stitch me up here. Well, the chimichurri is something I would have on the side. Interesting. So this is unusual that you're using this is a marinade. I'm liking this a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, I, I whip this up often and I'll make an excessive quantity. I'll pop it in a jar in the fridge. So you get those lamb chops nice and doused in all that flavour. Now, I've got about three, four tablespoons left here. I'll save that. Please, Great. please gotcha. save it. Yep. I'm loving that you got your butcher to, to French them for you. I normally do it myself because it's a lot of fun, but um, it's it's a it's a great little uh, beautiful little cut to use. So, but this is quite expensive. We need to acknowledge that this is about fifty dollars worth of meat. I think so. so yeah, it's very yeah. expensive to feed a family, and that's why I've done it with this really filling salad. So I've got some potatoes boiling in here, which I'm actually going to add some green beans to. A great little snack for little people with dips. Okay. Hot tip. That's a pre or pro tip for free. And I like how you're using one pot. I would normally separate them. Yeah. And I don't want to clean two pots. So wherever you're cooking, there's probably a team of people cleaning up after you. Usually, yeah. I like one pot. So we're going to let these green beans blanch just for three minutes and I'm going to pop them into ice cold water so they remain really crispy, crunchy. We, we're going to cook these? We're going to cook them. Pop them on the grill plate. Okay. Three minutes oh. each side. I like these kind of medium rare, not too cooked. Yep. Then we can put this salad and these beautiful lamb cutlets together. Everything here ready to go. Let's pop the potatoes down first. Okay. Now, the reason I've done the potatoes is because everybody loves a potato, but it's a really nice way if you've got a really expensive prime cut of meat to kind of bulk up the meal a little bit, right? Yeah, exactly. So you want everyone to be filled, has a couple of lamb chops, but you've got all this beautiful salad as well. Lovely. Lovely. So that's our dressing with the capers and there the garlic. Just a little bit of this on it so the potato starts soaking Love it up. Love it. Soak Liking up it. the flavour. Perfect. Look, look over there. More salt. Here we go. Whose recipe is it, friend? <laughs> Let's pop some of these green okay. beans on. Go Spread for it. Spread them out. Okay, I've got Bit you Bit of green on the plate. I'm liking that. I mean, that's a lovely salad all on its own. I often do that with some um, olives. It is, and I'll put a bit of dressing on this, Thank the beans as well. You, so, we, chef. so we dress it as we build it up. There we go. 
Glorious. And then we make the mountain of these terrible. If it was your recipe, it would be okay. Well, I am authorised. You're authorised me to, I to have sort authorised of you. You're correct. A bit. Now, normally I would just dump these lamb chops all on top and around, but we have a chef here, so let's utilise your expertise. You make it look amazing. Please. I'm going to stop you right there. And it is quite simple. I mean, we can make it look really nicely just by stacking it around like this. I love I... the subtle dick there. It is very simple, delicious, nutritious, iron packed. You've got your veggies. This is all you really need on the table. Oh, no, just a little bit of uh, a little bit of finesse oh, look at, at the this end. Zhushing. It you, never you like looks that? like this at home for me, friends. Really? Oh, there we look go. at this. But it's really easy to use mama. using the points of the lamb to arrange it and stack it around it's like, like this. It's like Tetris or Jenga. It's almost like that, but a lot better. A lot more skill in it. So we've got that packed up to the top. I love the meat on the top, and this is where we just... It's like a waterfall. Yes, it Lush is. Lush dressing falling down upon the lamb and then down yeah, upon the Yeah, and you beans. want it down on those potatoes as Look well, please, that. friend. Look at that. A little bit of basil on top. You've got those glorious little leaves there. Well, he's the rest, using, rest of it he's on? using it like he stole it. Why not? We'll oh, use a lot of that. Why not? Now, some basil leaves for you. Yes, thank maybe, you. Maybe you can assist in some manner. Uh, yeah, some oh, 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 like this. little dig. Little Just dig there. A little one there. Now, I can have a crack at it now. You can. All right. Go on. I'm going to grab a lamb chop and Go I'm on. just going to tuck straight into it. I'm looking for the marinade, the flavour. Interesting that you use the chimichurri to cook it with. Something I wouldn't normally do, but um, it's actually held up really well. It hasn't burnt. It's actually added some flavour to it. It smells fantastic. You sound surprised. The green beans are still crunchy. They've gone into that ice cold water, so they're still crunchy. You want them to be crunching. And the lamb is cooked to perfection. I'll tell you what, I like the lamb, the um, potatoes, and we've got a cracking meal. Perfect. Match made in heaven. Love it.